In this video, villages have become extremely OP. Are you tired of going to villages, opening some chests and, and just getting seeds? Would you instead rather steal from rich villagers that have lots of OP items? Well, in this hardcore world, that's exactly what's going to happen. Just how OP will I become? <laughs> well, I've got to find a village first. And judging by my surroundings, it could be quite the journey. And this is the beauty of spawning in a jungle. We have found a jungle temple. Now then, I need to get this loot. I can hear mobs though. Okay, there's something in here. Thankfully, with a bit of fancy lever flicking, we can get some loot. Just need to lure this guy outside. There we go, now he's burning. Look at that. Destroyed and some free rotten flesh, which I don't plan on eating. Now we're breaking into this the old fashioned way with my fist. <laughs> That could be the biggest waste of a chest ever. This chest, on the other hand, was a slightly better one. I'm taking these bones. We might be able to get a pet dog. Thank goodness at least villagers are OP, because that was a massive letdown. And because I don't know how long it'll be till I find a village, making tools is probably the safest option. There we go. And I need food. <laughs> don't worry. Some food has been spotted. Sorry about this pig. Don't look at me like that. I'm hungry. Oh, there's mushroom over there. I could have just gone vegan. Oh, well, it's too late now. A boat is probably going to come in very handy. To be honest, the most precious thing I found at this temple was the cobblestone. Then I can make a furnace, a smoker, and start cooking me food. Might as well take this bamboo. It's literally three sticks. I'm planning another one because I'm a renewable person. There we go. I think it gives you six. No, it gives you quite a few. I think it gave me six sticks. Now I'm ready to go exploring and find a village. Although going to an ocean is probably the last place I'm going to find one. There are villages in Tiger Biome, so this could be a good place to try. And look at this. Village up ahead. I'm going to grab some food on the way because I am getting very peckish. And my bones are going to come in useful. Excuse me. Oh, look at this. Best friends forever. Come on with me, buddy. At this point, I feel like I call every dog I see buddy. <laughs> it's not your real name. It's just like a nickname. Ready, hurry up and get to this village. It is getting dark. I hope you don't live here, sir, because uh, I'm using this bed. Now then. Time to get some OP items. I'm going to steal their beds as well. Is there any chests in here? No, but this has got a bed, so I'm taking it. Why is it that every house I go into doesn't have a chest? Surely this one's got one. Nope. Anything in here? Okay, we finally found something. How many enchanted gold apples? Gold, emeralds, netherite, mending. This is very OP. And now we can craft these emeralds and trade them back to them and scam them with their own stuff. I feel like this house doesn't really have anything. You got any good trades? Infinite. Consider it sold, good sir. Just got to mine up a few bookcases. Might as well take them all, to be honest. And let's give him this. Pretty good price as well, actually. And we have... An infinity book. Might as well buy an iron axe from you as well. And use it to slay their own golem. I'm kind of evil, aren't I? I hope my wolf does not try attacking the golem. Because that wolf will get killed. He's like, good boy. I spotted another chest in the window. We could use the door, but we've got to be sneaky about this. Oh my goodness. Man, enchanted golden apples. They could be my new food source. <laughs> this is the life. We've got diamonds. We've got more iron. I've got more arrows than I need. A diamond sword. This is beautiful. What on earth? <laughs> Why have you got a flower on yet? Okay, it was just a... All right, it was a cool party trick. I think I've searched every... Okay, one more chest in this village. What are we going to get? We can get totems with elytra, please. No, we're just going to get a lot of enchanted gold apples again. Well, there are more emeralds as well, which is good. I think my next thing to do is make a smithing table. Give myself a netherite helmet already. I haven't even been to the nether yet. I'm also going to eat an enchanted golden apple because I'm feeling a little peckish. That'll go down nicely with some sweet berries. Let's make a diamond pickaxe, a diamond axe. And I feel like this village can give me no more. I need to find another one. The main loot that I want to get in a village is the elytra and also totems of undying. As far as the eye can see, it's just trees everywhere. Not a good place for finding villages. So I've got an idea. I've uncovered here. Whoa, whoa. Sit down. As I was saying, I've uncovered here a lava pool. So if I craft a bucket, grab some water, and then build myself a nether portal, which thankfully is not too difficult. And since I'm very lazy, I'm just going to light it with wood instead of using flint and steel. Actually, never mind. I'm mining gravel now. I don't know why I'm still using a stone shovel, though. An iron shovel makes much more sense. By the time I got the flint, the portal is lit. But I'm thinking, if I can get a load of obsidian by mining it with my diamond pickaxe, and now I just want to carefully bring my dog to the nether. All right, boy, this is a scary place, but you'll be fine. Don't worry. How on earth have you got stuck in the portal? How am I going to get you out of here now right let's unsit you stay in here we're both going there's no getting out of this come on okay can dogs not go to the nether now or something i guess it's probably for the best and <laughs> this wasn't my best oh no i'm gonna die just kidding i've got an enchanted golden apple don't worry okay i got a little bit lower than i was expecting there it's amazing what you see on the lava a strider and a baby one to be honest the original plan was to get loads of op armor and then go to the nether not go to the nether before i've got all my op stuff but needs must i was sick of traveling in the overworld and i'm sure i'll be fine with just a netherite helmet. Already, I'm going to have to do a few things that I don't want to do. Do we make... Oh, we made that. That's amazing. I'm working off the idea that it would be nice to find a fortress. But if I don't find one, it's not the end of the world. But we have got a bastion. Okay, that was a slight scam. It is just a ruined portal. But a ruined portal with 
four gold blocks. I've never seen that before. Let's grab this second one. Another two over here. So I have 10 gold blocks in total. Wow, this is crazy. I need more villagers though. Anything good here? I guess the helmet could be useful. Never mind, I've already got a helmet. Let's take the other armor. I've no idea if this is gonna work. Okay, it worked. I'm down to eight hearts. I, I better have another golden apple. And this time we really have found a bastion. And a fortune. Whoa, a bastion. Whoa, okay, I don't think I've ever seen this before. This right here is a speedrunner's dream. All the gold over there, right next door to a fortress. We could just go in here. I knew seeds like this were possible, but <laughs> I have never seen that. It's so cool. And we got hot tourist destinations. Yeah, we've traveled this world a lot, which is probably a good indication that we should head back to the overworld and try and find another village. And then with the OP items, we're going to completely destroy everything in these buildings. Oh my goodness. I don't think I've ever seen this many chickens. There's at least 10. And we've traveled over 4,000 blocks. Surely there's a village over here. And look at this. My portal. Okay, we. it's about 200 blocks away. That's pretty good travel if you ask me. Today might just be my lucky day. And that's not with the OP villager loot included. Let's see what we get. Oh, we've got the chest plate now. More obsidian. More gold. And another netherite ingot. Let's get the smithing table out. Netherite chest plate achieved. And that's only the first house. Excuse me, do you have any loot I can buy? No, I'll just leave you to it. Actually, every house I go into, there's a villager. It looks at me and like, what are you looking at? It was the same in that house too. Do cartographers have good stuff? Oh, they do as well. Look at all these iron, gold. I think each like profession has different stuff. I'm going to leave that diamond helmet because I've already got a netherite one. More diamonds. I don't, don't really need those leggings, but we got more netherite as well. I think we might as well get full netherite armor. And a ruined portal right next to it with more obsidian, more gold. And I think it's time I did some crafting. I'm going to start with an anvil. Craft myself a bow. Get infinity on that bow. Made some boots. Gave myself full netherite armor. There we go. And I want to find another village because that village over there, I don't think those types can get you elytra and totems. But if you find a desert or a plains one, we can find those. This looks like a prime biome for a village. I've seen one over the trees. I was going to say over the hills and far away, but it's not that far away. Let's hope there's lots and lots of chests. Well, the first house was a letdown. The second house was a letdown, but the third house, <laughs> well, it wasn't quite so much of a letdown. What about this one? Okay, more really good stuff. And that's the village. <laughs> still no totem and still no elytra. I should probably grab sugar cane when I see it because it'll be very useful for firework rockets. Doesn't this just feel wrong, guys? I'm going to eat a golden apple, an enchanted golden apple over and over again. It feels like a waste, but I'm very rich so I can afford it. Creepers are another thing that are going to be very useful since I can get the gunpowder to make firework rockets. This would have been so much easier with a looting three sword. This is a nice little find. We've got an enderman. And he drops an enderpearl. Perfect. Is that what I think it is through the trees? Finally, another village. Whoa, I've never seen... Wait, is it... It's like Dark Oak or something. I have never seen... There is not Dark Oak Village. No, it's a Spruce Village. What's a Spruce Village doing here? I guess the village started in that biome and it worked its way all the way into that. <laughs> that had me confused for a second. What does this chest have? <laughs> More good stuff. Oh my goodness. How many I've got over a stack of diamonds. Smite three. You know what? I'm taking that. I also have tons of iron. Look at 19 blocks. But only four netherite ingots. The goal is to create a netherite block. That's that's what we need to do at a minimum. And we've got a fifth one now. Sharpness four. Okay, that's a lot better than smite. That's going back in the chest. This is the best village I've ever been to. There is so many chests. Obviously, it's the best village I've ever been to. The villages are OP. But I mean, the best village I've been to in this video. Thorns three. That's going to completely destroy someone. Or at least some things there's no players in this world. Nice little Prot 2 helmet. Don't mind if I do. Now, what does a blacksmith have? This has got to be good, right? <laughs> I mean, this is good, I guess. I think I'm pretty well stacked now, but my quest for the Elytra continues. Probably would have been quicker just to get it from the end city. It's about time I turn these into diamond blocks, these into gold blocks, these into iron blocks. I have found what appears to be the world's smallest village. From what I can see, there's about five houses. It's going to take a miracle to get what I need. Let's see what we got. Okay. Well, we didn't get the elytra, but hey, we got a totem, so that's pretty good. And unbreaking three. Okay, they're really good. And thorns one. And unbreaking two. You know what? These are just like a perfect chest. Well, this big one, commonly known as hotel. That definitely. Wait, can you not get up the stairs, little fella? There you go. Just, just work your way. All right. See you later. I was just saying, this has a chest in. And two for two. <laughs> we needed a miracle. We got a miracle. I need to somehow clear some inventory space now. If I anvil these together and make it netherite, I can add mending to it as well. <laughs> that is a good helmet. I can do the same with these boots. They make the leggings netherite, the boots netherite. Took these away because let's be honest, who needs them? Another netherite chest plate. And with six levels, I can put them together. Let's be honest, all I'm bothered about right now is getting those elytra. I can make some paper, some firework rockets, and away we go. I need more sugar cane first. My target has been spotted. I'm just going to nosedive in the water. You can't die like that, can you? Make more paper, more rockets and there we have more sugar cane could do with a little bit more gunpowder but 34 rockets should see me through i think now i've got to try and find that bastion fortress 
in the nether. You see, now we have the elytra. We can just find more villages on the way. It's perfect. Oh my goodness, more good. You know what? <laughs> it never gets old just opening a chest and it be full of diamonds. I think it's a good idea to try and trade for my ender pearls. And the gold is going to get me there. Let's keep trading with you. Thank you, sir. And now I can buy all the pearls to my heart's content. Might as well upgrade this guy as well. Although this guy's let me down. Glass bottles, <laughs> you're dead to me. Yeah, pretty terrible village. Let's keep flying. I think it makes 10 times more sense to travel through the nether to get there. So let's light up a new portal. And it... Wait, it... Connected back up. I must have been pretty close. I was trying to work out just what happened there and I realized I built that border. I think what I'd like to do next. Oh, should I take out some of these guys? I've got a sharpness four. Let's do it. If I get a wither skull, it would be a miracle. Yeah, it didn't happen. But blaze rods, on the other hand, are pretty easy to get. And we've got the spawner, so I shouldn't take too long with this. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what's known as a flyby. Can't believe I actually got him. Shame he didn't drop a blaze rod. I have all my blaze rods. <laughs> now I just have to go next door to the bastion. And this is where things are going to get pretty crazy. Probably craft some gold armor as well. Yep, uh, before I die. Okay, thankfully I can just chill in the lava while I do this. I'm boxing myself in with diamond blocks, because why not? I can now also anvil these together. Craft a helmet like so. That's going to be a lot safer now. When I'm finished with these guys, I'm going to have more gold than they ever even dreamed of. Here they come. Here they all come into the hole. Just go in there. Don't be like this. These guys all got stuck there, so have some free gold. Is that amount of gold? <laughs> Not for long. I'd like to just box these guys in like that. I don't know what you're doing up there, but you're about to get spleefed. There we go, ready? Ha 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 ha. Defeated. Let's see what we've got in this chest. Anything decent? I guess more obsidian. To be honest, how can I get much better stuff than what I've already got? You know what, fellas? You can keep all this gold, all right? Today's your lucky day. I have really no use for it all. I'm getting out of here. All right, guys, just flying by. So if I head through here, I can now begin my quest for the stronghold. Craft the blaze powder, make the eyes of ender, throw away a bunch of junk, and let's see which direction we're headed. That way. I don't think I've ever done this before, where I actually search for the stronghold when I've already got a light tray. It makes it a lot quicker. I've traveled many blocks, and I've still got many blocks to go. Progress has been made. I flew right past it. And with that eye of ender, I know exactly where it is. If I get this wrong, I'm going to look like a bit of an idiot saying that. Just in case, I'm going to throw one more. Where did that go? Am I stood on it? Don't worry, I'm just blind. It's over here. Right about here seems good to me. Can't believe I still have an iron shovel. I'd better get that fixed right away. I'll probably never use that shovel now. <laughs> it's worth doing. Are you kidding me? What? Oh, right. Well, it actually revealed the stronghold did those silverfish, so that's actually quite handy. And it looks like there's only one way to go through the main room, so finding this portal room is going to be well easy. It turns out it was actually very close. I just went the wrong way. Let's get rid of you. What do you think you're doing? You think you can really take me down in full netherite? Okay, I have Elytron, never mind. I have just the right amount of ice, thank goodness for that. Let's go to the end. And now, <laughs> I can battle the Ender Dragon using Elytra. This should be fun. And I have an Infinity Bow, so... Really, what could go wrong? This is actually the coolest way I have ever played Minecraft. You literally should just fly at the towers and just shoot them. It's brilliant, it's actually so much fun. And I don't miss. I'm just so good at this game. Okay, I'm actually in here. Is this gonna kill me? I want two hearts. I'm absolutely fine. This one. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, you think you can shoot me, dragon? I can fly now. You're not the only one. We're going in. This is where things could get risky. Oh, it does, it does damage. Oh, look at this. Yeah, you can't fly away. The thorns on my armor, it's very powerful. Every time the dragon hits me, it hurts the dragon. Probably makes more sense just to shoot it, though, than I, I don't miss. Look at this. I'm practically riding this. Whoa. What just happened? Oh, my elytra break. Well, that was a very inconvenient thing to happen. And that's why I'm happy I got the totem. It was fun while it lasted. Now I've just got to shoot him down here like a peasant. Yeah, you guys get the picture. Wait, I'm an idiot. Why am I not using a netherite axe, a netherite sword, and a netherite pickaxe? Man, it's just free loot. Watch and learn, guys. I'm going to ender pearl into the dragon, hit him, and then land it with a water bucket. There goes the ender pearl. There goes the hit. You know what? Just about nailed it. But it doesn't matter because the dragon has been defeated. And it has to be said that OP villages are great.